السلام علیکم فرینڈز آج ہم ڈسکس کر رہے ہیں فور ایئر سیریز لیکچر نمبر ایٹین وچ سیز دیٹ شو دی فور ایئر سیریز آف کاز اے ایکس ود دی لمٹس فرام مائنس پائی از لیس دین ایکس از لیس دین پائی وی ہیو ٹو شو دی فور ایئر سیریز آف کاز اے ایکس ہیئر دی فنکشن از ایف آف ایکس از ایکول ٹو کاز اے ایکس وی نو دیٹ کاز اے ایکس از ایون فنکشن دیر فور وی ہیو ٹو فائنڈ دی ویلیو آف اے ناٹ اینڈ دی ویلیو آف اے این اینڈ وی نو دیٹ ان کیس آف ایون فنکشن دی ویلیو آف بی این از ایکول ٹو زیرو ناؤ ہیئر وی ہیو ٹو فائنڈ دی ویلیو آف اے ناٹ اینڈ اے این دین وی ول پوٹ ان دی اکویشن آف فور ایئر سیریز First, we have to find the value of a naught. We know that the equation for a naught is equal to 2 divided by pi integration from 0 to pi f of x dx. This is the equation for a naught. Now, we have to put the value of f of x, which is equal to cos ax. So, we will get 2 divided by pi integration from 0 to pi cos a x d x now we have to integrate this cos a x and we know that the integration of cos a x is equal to sin a x divided by a so this will become equal to 2 divided by pi sin a x divided by a and the limits are from 0 to pi this is the integration of this given function now we have to put the lower limit and upper limit and after putting the limits we will get a not is equal to 2 divided by pi into sin a pi divided by a minus sin 0 divided by a here we know that sin 0 is equal to 0 so we will get 2 divided by pi sin a pi divided by a this is the value of a not we can write it as that a not is equal to 2 sin a pi divided by a pi this is the value of a not now we have to find the value of a n and the equation for a n is equal to 2 divided by pi integration from 0 to infinity f of x cos n pi x over l d x This is the equation to find out the value of a n. Now we can write this equation also as that 2 divided by pi integration from 0 to pi f of x cos n x or dx. Now we have to put the value of f of x and the value of f of x is cos a x. After putting the value of a x. a n will be equal to 2 divided by pi integration from 0 to pi cos a x cos n x d x now we have to apply the trigonometric relation to this integration and trigonometric relation is cos a and cos b is equal to half into cos a plus b plus cos a minus b this is the trigonometric relation we have to apply this relation on this integration after applying this trigonometric relation on this integration we will get a n is equal to 2 divided by pi integration from 0 to pi cos a plus n x plus cos a minus n x into dx and here we have also half 
this will become like this one here these two and these two will cancel each other and we will get a n is equal to 1 over pi integration from 0 to pi cos a plus n x dx plus 1 over pi integration from 0 to pi cos a minus n x into dx. Now we have to integrate this both integration and we know that the integration of cos a plus n is equal to sin a plus n divided by a plus n. Similarly, the integration of this will become equal to sin a minus n divided by a minus n. So we will get a n is equal to 1 over pi sin a plus n x divided by a plus n and the limits are from 0 to pi plus 1 over pi sin a minus n x divided by a minus n from 0 to pi. Now we have to put the lower and upper limits and after putting the limits we will get a n is equal to 1 over pi sin a plus n pi divided by a plus n minus sin 0. Here when I put x is equal to 0 so this whole term will become equal to 0 and, and finally we will get sin 0 divided by a plus n and here I have to put these limits and after putting this limit we will get sin a minus n pi divided by a minus n here we will also get sin 0 divided by a minus n now I can write this equation as a n is equal to sin a plus n pi divided by pi a plus n plus sin a minus n pi divided by pi a minus n. This will become like this one. Now I have to multiply this pi with a and a n. I will also multiply pi inside the bracket. So we will get a n is equal to sin a pi plus sin n pi divided by pi a plus n plus sin a pi minus n pi divided by pi a minus n. Now I have to apply trigonometric relation on these and after applying we will get a n is equal to sin a pi cos n pi plus cos a pi sin n pi divided by a pi into a plus n. Here we will also get sin a pi cos n pi minus cos a pi sin n pi divided by pi into a minus n. Here this sin n pi is equal to 0. So this whole term will become equal to 0. Here also the sin n pi is equal to 0. So this whole term will become equal to 0. And finally we will get a n is equal to sin a pi cos n pi divided by pi a plus n plus sin a pi cos n pi divided by pi a minus n. Now I have to take the LCM and after taking the LCM we will get a n is equal to sin a pi cos n pi into a minus n plus sin a pi cos n pi into 
a plus n divided by pi a square minus n square. Now here some parameters will cancel each other and we will get a n is equal to 2 a sin a a pi cos n pi divided by pi a square minus n square. And we know that cos n pi is equal to minus 1 to the power n. So this can be written as that 2 a sin a pi divided by pi a square minus n square into minus 1 to the power n. We will get finally the value of a n equal to 2 a sin a pi divided by pi a square minus minus n square into minus 1 to the power n. Now we have to put the value of a n and a naught in the equation of Fourier series. And we know that the equation of Fourier series is equal to f of x is equal to a naught divided by 2 plus summation n is equal to 1 up to infinity a n cos n pi x over l or we can write cos n pi plus b n sin n pi x over l into dx. Now here we have to put the value of a naught and a n and we know that the value of b n is equal to 0. So after putting the value of a naught and a n f of x will be equal to sin a x pi divided by a pi plus 2 a sin a pi divided by pi into minus cos x divided by a square minus 1 plus cos 2x divided by a square minus 4 and so on. This is the Fourier series of given function. Thank you.